this is Sam Welling. Welcome to another Encounter movie review. Tonight I saw Den of Thieves. Den of Thieves stars Gerard Butler and City Sense. And it's been a while since I've seen him in anything. Den of Thieves is about this uh, cop. He's actually He's actually from the sheriff's department this time, and they're trying to stop some bank robbers from robbing banks. And bank robbers have been in their mind, and they want to rob a federal bank. See, the thing about a federal bank is that they get rid of money on those that need to be taken out of circulation are shredded and then disposed of. So the thing about old bills is when they are taken out of circulation, they get shredded and also the record of the serial numbers are erased from the system. I mean the whole national system. So eventually if you were able to steal some old bills, you would have like free money because there would be no actual way to trace them. Now, as opposed to every other bill which would be traceable and then you would get arrested for having spent that bill. Get it? So these guys are smart. If you steal money that earns it on the books, then you have free money. And it's a whole guy, cat and mouse game. It was pretty interesting. There was kind of some draggy parts with too much dialogue, not a little action. I think uh, my favorite parts and of heist movies that I hate. It's it's hard to make a heist movie because you have a lot of explanation to do as to how nice is going to go down and if you're a cop what are you going to do to catch the person and how do you find out who the person is in the first place and I don't think this is where this film fell down as opposed to better heist movies like the Thomas Crown Affair either one and, but that's primarily my only dream. Gerard Butler's character is, uh, he's a bit of a thug and he's divorced. And he does things that probably you shouldn't, well, definitely you shouldn't do if you're a cop. So it's like the bad guys versus the bad guys. And they, when they go after eyes, and when they go after the criminals, criminals decide to throw the cops for a loop. <laughs> and it's really very interesting what happens. I'm not gonna tell you what happens, of course, because you don't want to see it for yourself. But it was really uh, well acted. I didn't see any actors who fell flat. And a lot of actors were kind of smaller because in a heist movie you can break into an actors. But overall it was a good film. It was pretty violent at the end. <laughs> you can see basically all of the violence was at the end and it wasn't as slick as Ocean's Eleven and um, I think you would like it if you like heist movies. They do have a switcheroo as always. But that's what we love about Heist movies. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and visit my links in the upper dialogue box below right now. I'm filming these things on an iPhone with Filming Pro. I hope you have a good night.